one of the names for it. Yeah, and it, it was um, a little bit of a marriage mark. You know, you can imagine all the society ladies reigned on one side of the room, perhaps waving their fans in some kind of a, a love code, you might think. But let me suggest an alternative proposition. In the aftermath, of the Battle of Waterloo, people would go around extracting teeth from the dead soldiers, you see, and bringing them back to London and selling them to dentists, then which would be set into dentures made out of ivory or maybe even porcelain, some kind of material. I mean, imagine, the state of dental health wasn't quite what it is today. Most people's teeth would rot by their kind of teens, so a good pair of dentures was at a premium. But actually, set in the tent, they did start to um, rot and to uh, smell a little bit. So all these society ladies with these dentures in, with this... Yeah, so perhaps oh. what they're doing is not oh. quite... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry to put that thought into your head. Yeah, but um, just